Have you ever wanted to record yourself doing something on your iPhone, but you weren't quite sure how to do that? Well, I've got good news for you. It's really easy to do using Snagit, and I'm going to show you how. Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. So there are a lot of reasons why you may want to capture your screen or capture video of your iPhone screen. Uh, you might want to demo something for someone. Maybe you want to show an app. Maybe you want to create a training video. I recently discovered that you can do it really easily using Snagit. And by the way, if you don't have Snagit yet, I'm going to link to it in the description. And once you have Snagit, the next thing you're going to want to do is go out to the App Store. And you're going to look for an app called TechSmith Capture. You're going to go in, you're going to find that, you're going to install it, and then once you have Capture on your phone, you're going to tap it, and then you're going to see up at the top left, there's a red circle. You're going to tap that to record, and you're going to see Start Broadcast. Now, I know this is saying Stop Broadcast. That's because I recorded this in Capture, and so I was recording myself recording <laughs> but you're going to see start broadcast but otherwise everything's the same and you're gonna click on that start broadcast and then you're gonna you know you can swipe up to close the um, close the app and it will continue recording so you're gonna keep recording whatever it is that you want to record when you're done you'll see up at the top this red oval that has the time in it you're going to tap that, then it's going to uh, give you an option to stop. You'll tap stop. Now your recording is there in Capture. Next, what you're going to do is tap on that recording and you're going to get a preview of it. And then at the bottom, you're going to see an option to either share or delete. So in this case, we want to share and I want to share it to snag it. So I'm going to tap snag it. It's going to say sharing and it's going to show up in my snag it editor. I can hit done. This is what it's doing for me because I have done this before. So I'm already synced up my phone and snag it are already synced up. But the first time you do this, you will actually need to go up here to file and then connect mobile device. And there's a QR code, so it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions there. But you're gonna use that QR code to link your Snagit to your Capture app. But like I said, I had already done that. So for me now, my captures are going directly into Snagit. And now from here, I could do some editing here if I wanted. It's very simple editing. I could, you know, I could cut part of it, um, the beginning, the, the end, I could do a little bit of trimming. But what I want to do is I actually want to edit this in Camtasia. So what I'll do is I'm going, in fact, this is going to be what you're watching in this video. Um, I'm going to want to share it and I can, I can save it as a file or I can have it go directly into Camtasia. And so here it is. In Camtasia. Now you can see this is uh, this is where I am recording this YouTube video. But this is really cool because now I can incorporate this capture into this YouTube video. It's very meta. <laughs> and that is how you bring your video of you on your iPhone into either Camtasia or Snagit. Once again, I'm gonna put a link to Snagit in the description below if you don't already have it. And I will also put a link to where you can get Camtasia. As you can see, Camtasia is my editing software of choice. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments if there are other videos, tutorials, um, or other career-related videos that you'd like to see here on the channel. Let me know that as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.